top six best AMD GPU in 2023. Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you to find out the best AMD GPU in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. And like, comment, share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number six, AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX had a lot to prove when it hit the scene at the end of 2022, but it succeeds brilliantly in being the most powerful gaming GPU on the market for under $1,000 while outperforming Nvidia's RTX 48 overall, which costs 20% more. The new second gen ray accelerators in the RX 7900 XTX makes 4K gaming of ultra settings with ray tracing a reality on an AMD card. Something that the last flagship AMD card, the RX 6950 XT, couldn't quite accomplish. It's not without faults, including falling behind the NVIDIA RTX 4000 series in terms of ray tracing, while still beating out the RT performance of the NVIDIA RTX 3090, and some uneven creative workload performance. But overall, this is the one graphics card we would recommend to just about anybody who are looking to finally upgrade their GPU after years of graphics card shortages. To say AMD had a high bar to clear with its latest flagship graphics card is an understatement. Having lagged Nvidia for the past few years and being relegated to the graphics card you have to buy because you don't have the money to buy the one you actually want, AMD has finally dropped a graphics card that isn't just the equal of Nvidia's rival GPU, it delivers a technical knockout that no one was expecting, all while costing substantially less. Number 5. AMD Radeon RX 7600 the AMD Radeon RX 7600 is here to bring AMD RTNA 3 to the under $300 slash 300 pounds segment, and it's got plenty of performance despite its lower price tag. Its 1080 performance is absolutely fantastic for the price, even giving the NVIDIA RTX 3060 T12 gigabytes a run for its money. Its 1440 performance is also pretty decent considering that the card only has 8 gigabytes VRAM and a 128-bit memory bus. In terms of gaming performance, you can easily get 60 on all of the best PC games at 1080, with most of those running on the highest graphics settings. For more demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077, there might need to be some settings tweaks, but it's still definitely doable, especially with AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Its ray tracing performance is still behind Nvidia's last gen mindrange cards, but RDNA 3 has definitely closed much of the gap between the two so you don't have to sacrifice ray tracing completely just by going with a cheaper AMD card. Number 4. AMD Radeon RX 6750 XT Believe it or not, I'm still working on our full AMD Radeon RX 6750 XT review. I'm going for the full last-gen completion achievement. But with all the latest-gen cards dropping over the past few months, I've actually put more time in with the RX 6750 XT than I would have if I just reviewed it, and I have to say the performance on this card is pretty spectacular. It has its limitations, to be fair, and mostly that comes in the form of lagging ray tracing performance, something that plagued the entire RDNA 2 generation. But for pure rasterization performance at 1440, the RS 6750 XT is one hell of a contender. If you don't factor in ray tracing or upscaling tech, the RX 6750 XT is able to easily clear 80 fps on maximum settings at 1440, on average. This puts it even ahead of the NVIDIA RTX 3070. Of course, once you turn on ray tracing, that all changes with the RF 6750 XT averaging about 32 fps at 1440 with max settings compared to the RTX 3070's 47 fps average over the same test suite. AMD SSR helps close the gap with an average of 52 fps with RT turned on and SSR set to performance. The RTX 3070, meanwhile, pumps out 68 with DLSS set to performance and RT turned on. And while the NVIDIA RTX 4060 Ti has much better ray tracing and upscaling performance, the RX 6750 XT manages to beat NVIDIA's mid-range GPU pretty handily in pure raster gaming performance, 82 to 73 on average. We'll have more when we formally review the card in the next few weeks, but given everything I've seen, you definitely don't want to sleep on this card especially now that its price has dropped considerably now that AMD RDNA 3 and Nvidia Loveless cards are on the market. Number 3. AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT Though most AMD graphics cards are great thanks to their value to power ratio, there are a few AMD models that have the muscle to compete for space in the high-end GPU market. 
The AMD Radeon RX 6800 XD is one of those cards with its robust 4K performance. Yes, its ray tracing isn't as good as the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, and its performance lags a little behind in some instances as well. But in others, it actually outperforms the RTX 3080 specifically when running on DX11. In our testing, we found the 6800 XT to be up to 9% faster in certain games such as Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, and Grand Theft Auto V. If you're looking for a GPU from Team Red to work or play in 4K, then consider the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. With the new AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, gamers are getting 4K gaming power as well as advanced features like ray tracing for $649, about £649, although $960. It means a more affordable 4K gaming option for those who want to save a few bucks. It also means choosing the best graphics card for 4K gaming hasn't been this hard since 4K gaming first came onto the scene. It might not dethrone NVIDIA, but we'd also expect a lot of gamers, especially the more budget conscious, to lean towards the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XD. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 6600 XD The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XD is possibly the best option in the company's lineup if you're looking for a GPU for 1080 gaming. It might not be the cheapest, but it's still affordable, so you don't have to splurge for that power. And it can handle just about anything at 1080 with a plum. It also offers great thermal performance and doesn't consume too much power. Its fiercest competition is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. And while the 3060 is $50 50 pounds cheaper, we found the 6600 XT to perform 10 to 15% better in most of our testing. That difference in pricing and performance does make choosing between the two a bit more difficult than it should be. However, the rating on RX 6600 XT also comes at a time where it's harder than ever to buy any graphics card, let alone the latest and greatest. Because of this, AMD bumped the suggested price above what the competing RTX 3060 comes with. And it's not hard to see why. It's not like you're going to find any graphics card at the retail price either way right now. So why not make it a bit more expensive? Number one. Radeon RX 7800 XD AMD has completed its new RDNA 3 GPU lineup with the release of Navy 32 on the RX 7800 XD and RX 7700 XT. Of the two cards, the 7800 XD is the clearly superior option. It's up to 20% faster and only costs 11% more, which isn't to say it's a win in every possible way, as it's also only 5% faster than the existing RX 6800 XD and inherits the same $500 going rate of that card. Still, it does have a few advantages. Performance in general may only be slightly improved, but the 7800 XT uses about 45 kW less power than the 6800 XT in our testing. Alternatively, it provides basically the same performance as the 6900 XT, while using less power and a lower online price. It also adds the AV1 encoding support and DP 2.1 video output, plus improved compute and AI capabilities. It's about 45% faster than the 6800 XT in stable diffusion, for example. Given Navy 22 powered the RX 6700 class GPUs, it would have made more sense to have Navy 32 likewise power the RX 7700 class GPUs. In that case, the generational upgrade from the 6700 XT would have been excellent, as the RX 7800 XT is about 60% faster. But then we'd also be talking about a new $499 MSRP device replacing a former $479 MSRP card, which is now selling for around $320. The remaining inventory and bang for the buck remains a sticking point for AMD GPUs, in other words, this is the top six best AMD GPU in 2023. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.